Welcome back everyone, my name is Elton Martin. we're going to be continuing our Let's Play of Wrath of the Righteous. Where we left last time, we had retaken the city of Dresden, where there's one more place we need to go before we leave the city and go adventuring in the World Wound. We're going to do that right now, we're going to go to the Citadel. There's a couple of people we have to meet before we head out. Stylekind. Before you sense a tall, fit man whose dark hair is already tinged with grey, he greets you with a brisk military salute. My name is Captain Seelkind. I command the vanguard of a mercenary group called the Blackstone Company. We've come from Endoran to assist you. I want to know more about your unit. The Blackstone Company is proud to be recognized as one of the finest Endoran mercenary regiments. We're not a bunch of unscrupulous sellswords looking to oppress the innocent and serve the tyrants of the world. No, we're adventurers eager to get involved in a dangerous enterprise and leave it with pockets full of gold and a clear conscience. Which is why we, have, we held a vote among our units. We were glad to accept Queen Galfrey's invitation to join the crusade, though some of our commanders did voice their displeasure with the sum she offered. But like I said, we Andorans are free people who cannot be pushed around and who cannot be bought, only convinced. Why'd you join up with us? Queen Galfrey paid for our services, but please do not think we're fighting for gold alone. We are true sons and daughters of Andorran, so the ideals of equality and resisting enslaving enslavement ring true in our hearts. We'll be glad to stand in the way of the demons who seek to force mortal kind into bondage. The bulk of our company made camp in Nerosium, but the vanguard, consisting of our finest soldiers, if I may add, was put under your command. Sorry, there's a weird hair on my microphone <laughs> thing that I had to get off. I want to know more about you, Captain Seelkind. The man flashes a genuine smile. I don't even know what to say. I'm a soldier, a bit of an explorer, and just an all-around honest man sounds suspicious. Anyone who calls himself an honest person probably isn't. Uh, get on with your duties. Yes ma'am, glad to be under your command. Commander Silkind salutes you again, smiles, and adds in a softer voice, it will be an honor to serve you, Commander. If you have any questions, let me know. If you need to talk, I'll be happy to lend an ear. Well, okay then. Arushale is here. Your best said we're under threat from demons with unusual abilities, like the Navasu, who attacked your army in the Lost Chapel. They're very powerful and growing in number. You haven't found out where they're coming from, have you? Arushale looks around shyly and continues, lowering her voice as if entrusting you with a personal secret. I think I... I'm not sure, but I think I have a lead. I know where to find someone who can lead us to the source of their power. Where can I find her? The place is called the Green Gates, which is the first place we're going to be headed, by the way. I'll show you how to get there. Long ago, before the World Wound, there was a Sarkorian fortress there. Then the Crusaders built a small chapel, but... For many, many years, the place has been home to nothing but abomination and squalor. How did you find out about this? Arushale quickly looks at the faces of those present and seems to curl in on herself. Quietly, almost whispering, she says, That's a long story, I will tell you when we get there, alright? Who are you talking about? A hag by the name of... Jerunica. She used to live there before the fall of Sarkoris. But when the demons evaded this world, she happily took their side. The old cannibal knows many secrets. You just have to make her talk. Does this Jerunica have special powers? Her? I doubt it, but still be careful. She's a very old, very sly creature, and she's incredibly dangerous. Thanks for the tip. Happy to help, it's just... Arushale looks around cautiously again and lowers her voice. You won't go there without me, will you? I want to personally make sure this monster doesn't escape you. Well, we'll definitely bring you along. You're part of our main group. Grandma Gretlin, the director. Grandma Gretlin lowers herself into a bow. Good day, your commandership. It is we, the artistic board of the Next Door Theatre. We are still working on our piece about your heroism. We've even taken on a few new crew members. We now have a master of stage equipment and scenery. It's my granddaughter, Tina. Tina, say hi to her commandership. We're faced with another dilemma. We simply can't decide on a climactic moment for the act that's all about the Battle of Dresden. Here, you listen to the options. Grandma Gretlin holds a scroll before her eyes and begins to read, running a gnarled finger along each line. Option 1, the commander, so that's you, launches herself out of a catapult and smashes down the fortress wall, allowing the armies to rush inside. The commander, that's you again, masquerades as a Balor and creeps into Dresden in disguise and then opens the gates to the Crusaders. The commander, that's you again, rides the attack on an enormous mountain goat, or should I call it a battering ram? Oh, that pun though. It breaks down the city gates. Well, what say you? I like the version where I launch myself out of a catapult. Wonderful, wonderful, it's high time we injected some thrills into our show. Grandma Gretlin and her entourage move away, but their voices project so well you can easily hear the rest of the conversation. Catapult was my favorite 
from the very start, I hope it's not considered too lowbrow a device for a serious dramatic offering. Did you forget that the role of the commander is being played by a cyclops? How are we going to launch Lambkin out of a catapult? Where are we going to find a catapult that won't just break under his weight? Calm yourself, Tina. Just a minor snag. You can't achieve success without a few difficulties along the way. We'll think of something. You'll see. Another squad. Seer or Kier, possibly? A middle-aged paladin with a genial face salutes you. His sparse gray hair sticks in fuzzy tufts on his head, giving him a distinctly unwarlike appearance. Everbright Crusaders reporting for duty. My name is Syar Colbin. Kobolin? Or possibly Sobolin. And I'm at your service. It's hard to tell if it's a hard sea or a soft sea. Queen Gelfry is gathering the main force, main tech forces in Neurosium. She orders us to replenish the losses suffered in Canabras and come here. We will support your troops. A tall, dark-eyed lad is standing behind Seer. He passionately echoes Seer's words. Who is Kyre? Like a liar? We sire, then. We're ready to go to the front immediately. Allow us to be the spear of the attack. The old crusader calls the young man to order. Mor Morvig? That is quite a demonic name. Don't speak unless spoken to. Don't worry, no one will be defeating any demons without you. Kyre, or Sire, smiles kindly and tousles the boy's hair. Who have you brought with you? Everbright Crusaders mainly, but we have a lot of volunteers who joined us. Those who arrived at the Queen's Call, but didn't want to sit in Neurosian waiting for the main army to set off. All the hotheads know that the front is here. Kyre nods at the boy behind him, the one who's eager to fight. We picked up this one too. He walked to Canaveras with an old sword in his hand and a few copper coins in his pocket. He was going to keep walking to kill the demons, and then he probably would have laid siege to the threshold, no doubt. The boy's cheeks go pink at the old man's gentle mockery, but he continues to stare ahead resolutely and boldly. Did you fight in Canaveras? How are things there? Not personally, no. The Queen summoned me and the bulk of our order to Neurosium. Almost all those who remained behind in Canaveras died, and the ones that didn't were disorganized and leaderless. But the order did not perish. New volunteers have been pouring into our ranks. We are licking our wounds. Canaveras is rebuilding. The life wins out. People are coming from all over Avistan to help. Many are joining up with the Crusaders, just as it happened back in the First Crusade. Great, you'll be under my command. The Crusader gives you a friendly smile. It's an honor for us, Commander. Let's give the demons a dusting. All right, we have a couple more people to talk to real quick, and then we're out of here. Irbeth, for one. Irbeth's eyes are vacant. Her thoughts are clearly somewhere far away. Seeing you, though, she snapped to attention. Hail, Commander. Let's give solemn hour to Irbeth. I found your father's sword. Take it. Praise Ayamade. Irba takes the sword as gently as if it were a living creature and sheathes it in the scabbard. I don't know what to say, I'm forever indebted to you. I never thought I'd get my sword back. Please allow me to reward you, and please, no objections, I could never replace this sword. I will never part with it again, I swear. 50,000 gold. We need to talk about what happened during the attack on Dresden. Irbeth nods curtly. Yes, I was shamefully faint-hearted. Praise Ayamade, it didn't affect the course of the battle. Still, my behavior was unworthy of a knight, even less a commander. Under the circumstances, leaving my position would be tantamount to, des to desertion. Still, as your advisor, I would recommend you release me from my position at the as the head of the Order, strip me of my knighthood, and send me to serve in the Condemned. Um, few deserve the titles more than you. Don't blame yourself. Under the circumstances, you did everything possible, and more besides. Thank you, Commander. The gratitude in Irabeth's voice is sincere, a spark of enthusiasm in her eyes, which had grown dull over the recent weeks. The half-orc salutes you. For a moment, you once again see the Irabeth who is ready to protect the defender's heart to her dying breath. Thank you for trusting me. More than anyone else does in this crusade, even more than I trust myself. Despite your words, Irabeth still obviously feels unworthy of her commander's rank. Changing her mind will require more than platitudes. Perhaps you can bolster her by appointing her to a position where she can work more closely with the rank-and-file soldiers, those whose faith in their commander remains undimmed. And I have to go. We have a new event called Orders to Irabeth, which we'll do in a sec. And Nevia is next. Look who it is. Hi. Have you figured out how the demons have been sneaking up on us? And Nevia answers with scarcely concealed irritation. No dice. Our scouts crawled all over the area, down every hole. Nothing. The grey road was completely empty and then bam, a whole army popped up like a jack-in-the-box. My only lead is a few scouts who didn't come back from the gorges to the southwest. But we found no signs of secret paths or underground passageways, and definitely no route we can use to quietly move a large horse through. But I feel it in my gut. There's some evil scum out there. We just have to look harder. Of course, I could send out a few more scouts, but they might just disappear like the first ones. Why don't you go there yourself and find out what's what? And Nevia punches her fist into her palm. You know, I like to give that rat Nura a good shake. How long was she serving the demons, I wonder? I'd bet good silver. If I turned her upside down and shook her as hard as I could, something interesting would fall out. Not just lice. Did you find anything about where Minago is now? 
The Nevia shakes her head sharply. Nope, zero zilch. A whole lot of nothing. The scum melted into thin air. Soldiers saw her jump out the window, run through the square in front of the citadel, and then suddenly disappear. We haven't heard anything from her since. I don't like it. I'm telling you, this is bad. First of all, her kind don't just give up. If we can't see her, it means she's setting a trap for us. Somewhere we won't expect. I mean, it would be great if the demon lords just gobbled her up for all her failures, but I think that's too much to hope for. But that's not the worst part. Worst part. We have more interesting questions, you know. I wonder how she teleported from the city, if by that time you'd already hung the banner. The soldiers are saying it probably wasn't in full force by then, but you and I both know that's dross. She wasn't supposed to be able to teleport, but she did. The question is, how? She's definitely shapeshifted into something else. We gotta go. Let's manage our crusade affairs. Alright, so we have a city. We have events, decrees, rank ups, developments, armies, a whole bunch of things to do. First of all, let's go with events. We have three events. We have restoration. We can construct building and forts in Dresden, issue decrees, and capture and investigate new regions. And we get new mercenary units. And demon armies will try and take our city. Fair enough. Oh, I have to start the event. So I have to expand the streets, reinforce the defenses, do not spend money on renovations. Invite architects from the Order of the Nail. What does that do? 100 military experience and 250 diplomacy experience and unlocks the help of the Nail. Finance income by 20% or by 20. Reinforcing the Walls decree or widening the streets decree. I know. I think I'm going to go with the architects. That sounds kind of cool. The Order of the Nail has... Oh, sorry. Dresden was built long ago, and compared to modern fortifications, its construction is hopelessly obsolete. The officers wish to rebuild the fortress and are arguing over which should be done first, to reinforce the defenses or to expand the streets to make the quartermaster's job easier and expedite supply deliveries. The Order of the Nail have been establishing stability and civilization in Varicia for many years. Their artisans have already constructed countless fortresses and outposts that serve as bastions of order in a savage land. They readily agreed to send their brothers to Dresden. Done. Cursed children. Next. Demons have been stealing children in Canabras and possessing their bodies so they can get close to the Crusaders to deliver a dagger strike. The officers are asking how they should proceed when encountering the possessed. We have choices here. We can increase our morale and units get vulnerable for 30 days, which kind of sucks. We can get some military experience points. We don't have the Path of the Azada, so we can't do that one. We can hunt for the kidnappers. That's probably the best one. Let's do that one. Hunt down the kidnappers. Lan is willing to select a number of fighters who will track down and slay the kidnappers. Should they succeed, the nation will applaud them, and Mendevian clerics will offer a solemn prayer for their protectors. Colbin's witches. While exploring, while exploring Sarkarian lands, a group of scouts stumbled upon a hidden settlement of exiles, runaway witches, and sorcerers practicing forbidden rituals. Criminals in their homeland, they did not welcome the commander's soldiers and made it clear that they did not want anyone meddling in their affairs. We can destroy the settlement, which gives a bunch of leadership points. We can establish trade with the settlement for some finance points. We can inform the Order of the Pyre. Hell Knights are recruited at the commander's headquarters. Lawful 7. Let's do that. Upon receiving Regil's report, the Order of the Pyre exterminated the cesspool of witchcraft. Many dangerous exiles remain in the world wound, and thus the Order has been sent their representatives to Dresden. Cool. I'm all about those Hell Knights. They're pretty cool. Alright, we have decrees to do. We have so many decrees. You can only have one decree issued for each of the Crusader stats at uh, Crusade stats at any time. Each decree has a cost and completion time. Some decrees can only be issued once, others have a repeat time, which is displayed in the description window. So we can form a diplomatic council. That's obviously diplomacy. Uh, this one's also diplomacy, the fate of the unholy symbol of Rovagug. So we can send some people to work on a relic. It does cost us a good amount of stuff. Where's our money? situation. Ah, here we go. So we have currently 14,281 sorry, 14,281 finance points, and we have 421 materials and 52 energy, which is not a lot. I feel like this should rank up. We have 69,000 experience, right? And next ranks at 50,000, so all these should have leveled up. Maybe we have to do that as like a development thing. Rank up. Yeah, there it is. We have to form councils for that to happen. Okay. Well, let's do form a diplomacy council. Form a military council. We'll just form each of the councils. I think that's important. We'll do all those. 
guess I should probably read them. The crusade depends on the support of Norosian and foreign countries. The diplomatic council will see to it that no political problems interfere with the regular inflow of gold and recruits in Dresden. A council of officers seasoned in the art of war will help the commander to implement new tactics and diversify her army's ranks with more skilled units. One can command a small unit alone, but to manage an army, one needs a staff council. Surrounded by experienced advisors, the commander will be able to make decisions affecting the life and morale of the entire army. And... The success of, mil of military action depends on regular supplies of everything troops need and the judicious distribution of resources. The Logistic Council, made up of experienced officers, will ensure there's no chaos in the army while the commander's attention is focused on the front line. There we go. We still have more things to do, but I don't think we can do any of them because we're already doing a degree for each of the stats. There's only four stats. Leadership, Logistics, Diplomacy, and Military. We're doing them all to rank up. Development. Outpost Bastion Expansion. This is expensive. And we already have something else for that degree, so we can't do anything about that. These are just all decrees, I see. Okay, so we can't do anything about those at the moment. Let's go to Dresden. We can build things now, too. We have some footmen and archers in here. Let's take a look at the city itself. What do we got here? We start with a smithy, a main barracks, an arsenal, and a main archery range. What else can we build? We can get a citadel, which gives us logistics. The citadel increases the time of the siege by the fort by three days. Only one citadel can be built in each fort. I don't really think I need a citadel. I'm going to kill them before they get to us. Valuable trophies gathered by crusaders draw glory hunting mercenaries to the crusade. For the chance to join an illustrious fighting force, they're willing to offer their services at a discount. Hall of Glory reduces the cost of recruiting mercenaries by 5%. That's not the worst. Hospital. 5% uh, bonus to infirmary size for all generals. Military Academy, plus one bonus to attack, AC, and saving throws for all trainable units. That's actually pretty nice. It's ludicrously expensive, though. Mercenary unit increases energy. Let's look sort of for some economy type stuff here. What do we got for economy things? Energy for all generals. Uh, HP for all trainable units in adjoining buildings, which this layout kind of makes that annoying because the archery range and the barracks are on opposite sides here. That's fine, though. Doesn't really make a difference too much, I guess. Um, I don't think I'm too keen on mercenaries, to be honest. But there's not a lot of, like, economy buildings. In fact, there's none that I can see. What was Sanctuary? Nope. Shelter. We can rest in the fort without increasing the effect of the Abyssal Corruption. Do we not have a shelter? Does this... That's a supply center. Does Dresden not count as this? I guess it doesn't. Alright, well, we'll just build one. We'll build it, like, up here. I feel like it should already count as one, but I guess it doesn't, so there we go. Watchtower, plus one bonus to AC, atta or sorry, attack AC and saving throws within the area. Does this have any adjacency bonuses that it needs? No. Okay, we're just going to build a watchtower here. Which side of the city do I think it should be on? Doesn't, I don't think it matters. Uh, training grounds. 10% damage bonus for all trainable units and joining buildings. That's kind of annoying because, again, opposite sides. But we're going to put it near the archers. In fact, I'm going to put it here. All right. Oh, we already have an arsenal. Never mind. Oh, no, this is a training grounds. It just looks exactly the same. Whatever. Training grounds, done. We're out of stuff for the most part. I guess we can get an alchemist's laboratory. Nah, it's fine. Good enough. Let's get out of here. I thought there'd be more economy buildings. In the other game, you have to build, like, a ton of economy stuff. Is this also a fort we can enter? Keeper's Canyon. Sure is. Let's take a look at it. It has no buildings yet? Oh my god, it's so tiny. Okay, we're gonna get a garrison archery range. And we're going to have to buy some stuff. We have tons of money, so I'm just going to buy some materials here. Garrison barracks. Do we have a garrison? No, nothing else. Okay. We can build a citadel here, which would be okay. A watchtower would be kind of nice. And maybe like a supply tower? A supply center? There we go. Golden. 
All right, let's get out of here. Do we have any other buildings to build in? Can we build in Canaveras? I don't think it's a city we can do, but we'll see. We also have the Hamlet of Sork. We can do things to all these outposts and buildings. There's so much. There's so much to do now. I can't go into Canaveras. Okay. Eventually, we'll upgrade our ever thing to a bigger thing, but I don't think there's anything we can do about that now. We're going to leave this because I want to go do some actual other stuff. We've done so much ruling over our lands. I want to go bunch some things. We're going to go to Green Gates. I don't know exactly where it is, but we'll find it. How do I get out of here? This is the wrong way. It's we do this it way. my way. Is there really no, like, zone transition out of here? I guess not. Huh. All right, fine. Follow if oh, we can did. leave there. Okay, area exit. That's what we want. We'll take this group. That's our normal group anyways. How did Ember get level drained? Also, someone mentioned I should use Death Ward more often. That is absolutely true. I completely forgot about that as a spell. Who even has Death Ward? Probably our cleric. He does not. Is it level 2? thought it was level 0, to be honest. Or level 1, but... I guess I'm incorrect. Maybe it's level 3? We're missing a spell here. Two of them, actually. Magic Fang, sold, and we'll grab Protection from Evil. Can't, that's a class ability. Protection from Alignment, there we go. No Death Ward. Maybe it's level 4? It is level 4. But it's only one creature within range, which kind of sucks. Why did I think it was level 1? Maybe I'm just insane. Anyone else have spells that I need to put on? While I'm here, in this screen? Yes, kind of. Phantasmal Web. I'm actually going to put those there, and maybe like one of these here. Maybe like one of these there. There we go. Um, yes. Okay, that's fine. Your spells per day, you're not. But I got your spells already. She has one new spell. And it's going to be... Communal Resist Energy. I'm going to come back to this one for a second here. We're going to take Unbreakable Heart. We're going to be fighting a dragon at some point. And actually, we have three more there. We need more. So, let's just... He almost never uses that. We're going to need a bunch of these. Maybe I should have kept that Remove Fear as well. You know what? We can get a Communal Protection from Alignment and just save ourselves some time and effort. Take it over that one. Oh, we already have protection from evil communal. Okay, so our goal is to get to green gates. That's the first place on our list. We may, in theory, be attacked on our way there by a dragon. I'm not even kidding. Oh, wait, can we go this way? No. Let's go, I think we go... Which way do we go? We should also take a look at our armies really quick. Oh my god, we have so many armies. Okay. Let's go through them all. Alright, so where's our main army? Oh my god, there's so many of them. I need to group them all up because it's going to drive me insane to have 900 armies. So our main army's here in the fort. These guys join up. Done. Next. This army. So this army's got champions and paladins. It's going to be its own army. This army's got spearmen and marksmen. It's going to be its own army, too. This army, I think, can largely join up with this one. But some of its mounted units are going to have to go somewhere else. Yeah, we have some more mounted units here. So, we're going to grab that. And we're going to go down this way. I just hate having, like, 900 armies on the go. Done. Who's next? We have five rangers down here. And we have, right, we have these guys. Let's just join those into one army. Where did that other army go? There's just so many armies to deal with. 
let's just move them all to one area. We can kind of group them up as well as we can to have just a couple main armies. We also have um, recruits we can buy. I think they just spawn in Dresden too, if I'm not mistaken. Oops. Shoot. Oh, we can't... Oh, they're all part of this army now. That's okay. It's fine. We'll move things around. We'll move this army down here. We'll go like this, right? Then we're just going to put these in there. Then we're going to move this army down and then over this way once. We're just going to stop it here. That's good enough. Get out of the way. And this army can keep coming. Where's this army? Not that army. This army. Okay, so it's at this base. We'll move it up to army three and we'll just have them group up. Oh no, he's out of movement. Okay, fine. You're going to move down to army three. And me up. There we go. Alright, done. Next one. <laughs> There's just so many. Alright. That's fine. That's a new army. We're going to put it somewhere else too. Because if I try and recruit into it, it's just going to stuck, be stuck there. It can guard Lost Chapel. Done and done. Let's get these other army things going. We can grab some more Hell Knights and some more Clerics for relatively cheap. And they are now army something. One? Army one. Okay. Alright, done. We finally succeeded at figuring out our army situation. Anyways, this army, the what I why I wanted this army to come with us, because there's a demon armies in the way, right? So we can kill them and get them out of the way. That's what I wanted. I wanted them to be, you know, part of this expansion. Unfortunately, it just takes eight hundred years. That was just so easy. Fireball is just outrageous, I gotta say. It's so good. Ice Storm, I think, is even better, but I haven't seen Ice Storm yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bracers of a Heavy Hand. Plus three bonus on damage rolls with offhand weapon when dual wielding or wielding a two-handed melee weapon. For example, a double weapon. That'll be good for Regil, I guess. <clears throat> Excuse me, just had to clear my throat for a sec. Anyways, we're heading towards Green Gates. Do I think it's down? Sometimes the roads are a little complex. Oh no, is this the dragon? Luckily there's an autosave. Uh, if it's the dragon we need to run, we cannot fight it. Or maybe we can. I don't know what's here. We've saved anyways. Oh no, there's people. I can still fight. Die. Quick time up. It's the Crusaders. The Crusaders are here. The Crescent of the Abyss must be informed. Baphomet cultists. Scum. We have no buffs on, really. And we took a pretty hefty hit to the face. But I'm not too concerned about it, honestly. Bunch more experience. Alright. What do we get? Oh my god, this all magical stuff. What do they got? Light. Oh, it's just plus one. And here I thought it was going to be something pretty cool. It was not. Masterwork daggers? No. Composite longbow plus one, though, now. It's not a bad thing. And of course, some loot on this guy. And actually, some loot on this guy. But not anything special. No wonder he died. You can't bring a great sword plus zero into the world wound and expect to do anything with it. I do what I must. Uh, you got my screen turned slightly. I can't get around. There we go. Actually, before we leave, is there anything in this area? Yes. It's always good to check. You never know. I mean, it's not worth anything. It's garbage, but we're really far away from a level. Nothing I'm over gone. here. And anything over here? Maybe? No. Okay. Well, we checked. The important thing is we checked. Can't get up there. We do it my way. You know, you never know where you're going to find artifact pieces for storyteller stuff. 
Speaking of the storyteller, I don't know where he is. I honestly don't even know when he comes back, to be fair. I've never seen him up to this point, because I never really explored up to this point. Um, Green Gates. We're going this way. We've met up with our army. That's lovely. We're going to switch to our army. Let it lead the way. It does look like we're going to Green Gates, which is good. That's kind of where we want to go. And also, we're on the other videos. Uh, don't... S oh, rocks are moving in. Okay. Well, Fireball's not going to work very well here, because they're all spread out. So what do we want to kill? The Drachny? Are all gone. We killed two rocks in one shot. We'll be able to kill one more rock, maybe. Nope. How about one now? Two more dead. And they did zero damage. Let's just get rid of the swarm. Oh. These guys are all stunned, too, which is... Oh, we got good morale. That worked out. Good job, archers. You are the best. We lost to clerics, but they came back to life, so it's all fine. I think we're out of time on this video, actually. Defeating the horde of flying monsters swooping from the sky, many crusaders got to thinking about that battle tactics they know are not always suited to demon, or demon confrontation. With every new battle, the army gains invaluable experience, and soldiers are eager to learn for their lives depend on it. We're still not quite up a level, which is annoying. Maybe we can do one more demon army fight. We'll come down this way and fight this army. Yeah, this should be fine. We'll blow these two up. Actually, I don't know if I can blow those ones up. They might be mean to fire. They were not. I almost killed that group of... Oh, we're definitely going to kill them in one hit. They might have spells. Oh my god. That did so much damage. We're definitely going to need to cast Cure stuff on them. That was insane. Alright, let's lay on hands. Others. We have 125 clerics. Let's bring some back to life. Now, do I just try and end this? We're below the infirmary cap, so... Our archers are going to die, aren't they? I might need to reload that autosave. So I don't think I can cure them. And we're way above the infirmary. Oh, we're not. We're just below it? I don't suppose you can lay on Hans dead people. Nope. Oh, we're gonna get lightninged again. Okay, so we definitely need to reload. We can't afford that level of casualty. That's a lot of dead people. like all of our archers. That's too many archers to die. Maybe we blow up this group. Those shears, there's so many of them. Okay. There goes all of our archers again. Uh, we will lay on hands others, bring some back to life. That brought most of them back to life. That wasn't as bad. I'm okay with that. Wait, how'd you get another spell? Oh, that's very annoying. I thought for sure that he would do a spell for the turn, but I guess that was a Glabrazoo ability to teleport. That's fine. Alright, let's try one more time here. That killed less shears this time. Slightly annoying. We did still kill that one. Here comes the lightning bolt. That was way worse. That killed all of them in one go. We gotta save some, because then we can heal them before we lose the combat. God, that lightning bolt hits hard, though. That was a pretty good attack. Alright. Lightning bolt coming in. Didn't die. That's important.
I hate you so much, Glabrazoos. Get them all back to life. Did zero damage. Nice. And then they all died anyways. Come on. Cold Lightning is such a bullshit ability. It does so much damage. I guess they're probably thinking the same thing about Fireball, though, because it does tons of damage, too. I really think that maybe this is the best way to do it. Kill this group first. Oh, crap. I screwed that up. That was not high enough up to hit the other group. <laughs> My bad. This fight is actually harder than I did for a level 6 fight. It's because their general does a ton of damage. This should kill both of those. Okay. Okay, those two are dead. Let's kill that one. 12. There's only 3 left. That's fine. Of course. Why would you... 6.9k? That's insane. Just leave me like a 10 alive. That's all I need. Just a couple alive. I can't afford to lose all my archers in one go. Come on. Alright, here it goes again. They survived. Good. This sheer army is annoying. There's so many of them. And they actually are pretty tough. Uh, lay on hands others. Back to life. We finish those ones off. But then our rushers are going to get killed again, probably. What? Oh, well, it didn't matter anyways. They got blown up immediately. How do I keep my archers alive? I honestly don't know, and I can't afford to lose 200 archers. It's like our whole army worth of archers. We have nothing that can protect them from lightning bolts either. I don't know what to do here. Like, he does. He kills all of them in one hit most of the time. At least the second hit will kill them all for the most part. Like, statistically, just. We're kind of screwed. I don't think there's any way to save our archers. I'll try a couple more times just to see if I can't save our archers somehow. Like, some of them are going to come back, yeah. But not as many that died. I wonder how much each archer is in terms of points. I guess if we get most of our archers back, it'll be fine. It just it sucks, because I don't want to lose that many archers. I'm not a big fan of losing all of my range in one go. I don't have anything else for range, and they're the only thing that does damage in my army. Alright. Okay, so I've tried this fight a couple times. Our archers keep dying. We're going to just hopefully roll with it. I don't think there's any way to keep them fully alive. Or even alive at all. In some cases. This might be the best one we've had so far. So, we'll just try and win the fight. At this point. Just waited for my... These guys. Okay. If we kill these, we get all of our characters to go before their next for the next spell. If we don't kill all these, we're dead. Okay, that's fine. That's gonna do zero damage, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, we're gonna lose all of our archers. Freaking hell. I wonder how many come back. Let's just see how many we get back at the end of this. 173 come back. That does suck a lot. I might do a couple more attempts to see if we can get a better outcome. We do get a level. Anyways, I'm going to do a couple more attempts to see if I can do it. But otherwise, we're at the end of the video anyways. 
Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, in the next video, we'll head into Green Gates. Take care and I'll see you next time.